Cecil. I'm from Topeka, Kansas. I'm active in the National Alliance on Mental Illness. I'd like to give them credit because they have helped me to come out and deal with my hoarding disorder. Um, it's been real interesting learning about this over the years. The very first time that I came out in a public setting was at an OCD session at the NAMI convention in Austin in 2005. Um, I really feel that getting treatment for hoarding is a real difficult issue. It's not readily available. The type of dialectical behavioral therapy that they use for most kinds of OCD, which hoarding is considered a subset of, doesn't work well for hoarders, at least that's what all the literature says. Neither do the OCD medications work for people more than maybe, it says like 6% or so of people get any effect whatsoever. Um, I, it's also very expensive. It's long therapy. It's probably about a year from identification to maintenance and then of course probably some therapy afterwards for maintenance. Um, my experience locally was that it cost like about $105 a half hour. Um, I'm on disability. Even with Medicare that just is not going to work and I did talk to the presenters um, on understanding hoarding conferences almost all private pay. Um, and hoarding needs another support that most therapies do are not, you know, that doesn't pay for, which is that you really need an in-home helper. I know what works. I had wraparound therapy when I was a Menninger patient when I did have insurance, and wraparound with my team making plans, identifying things, working with attendant care people, having a strategy of when I got stuck sorting things or giving, you know, getting rid of things and stuff to go on to the next item, I know what works, but I can't get it from the, the usual sources. Consequently, a friend and I have started a hoarding support group. I want to recommend that to anybody, family members or consumers who have problems with hoarding because there are hoarding support groups online and you can start your own consumer group because we have. We've been going for a year and at this point at least a couple of us are going into each other's home and being that helper we need. But we're still not getting therapy. <laughs> and if I can talk about mental illness, so can you. <laughs>